there's a hidden world right in front of us. Our naked eyes can't see it, but luckily for us, we've got microscopes. This piece of equipment has allowed us to learn loads about cells. So let's see how it works. Download your free study along workbook for this video and others in the cell biology topic. Just visit emmaditichi.com for your free copy. We're going to look at two types of microscopes as you need to understand how microscopy has developed and the differences between these two. First up is a light microscope, which you'll have seen and used in school. It was first developed in the mid 17th century and it uses light to form an image. Because of this, it can be used to view live specimens, for example, bugs. It's also pretty cheap and it's easy to use, which is a big advantage. The best ones can magnify up to 2000 times, which means that it zooms in 2000 times. Resolution is all about the details you can see. It is the ability to see two things as separate objects. A high resolution means you can see lots of detail and everything is clear and separated. The light microscope has quite a low resolution with a resolving power of around 200 nanometers. Now let's look at the electron microscope. It was developed by scientists in the 1930s and it uses electrons to form an image. It does this by firing electrons through the specimen, which means that the specimens must be dead first. So it can't be used to view living specimens. It's a very expensive microscope and it has a lot of conditions that it needs to be kept under. However, the rewards are really good as the magnification can be up to 2 million times and it has a really high resolution of just 0.2 nanometers. The magnification and the resolution are the two big ones you need to remember to be able to compare these microscopes. In both cases, the electron microscope is much better. It has really high magnification and resolution. And this has allowed scientists to see and understand lots more about the subcellular structures of cells. We'll look at these in more detail in the next video. I'm now going to direct you to my maths and biology video so you can learn about the magnification equation for light microscopes. You'll also look at how to convert between different units. Skip to 1 minute 40 seconds and you'll cover everything you need to know. I normally finish my videos with quick questions, but you'll be given some microscopy questions to try in the maths video, so I won't include these here today. Next up, we're learning about animal and plant cells. Click this button here to watch the video, and if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can just click my icon or the big red button down below. Thanks and bye!